So let's um, engage the word about object partners. The principle tells us that God is looking for what? Object partners, right? Object partners that can bring facilitate joy to God. And um, here we are. Through science, we've discovered that this world is not just 6,000 years old. We've discovered that the world is really eons. Some like to put a number, they change the number every year, 7 billion, 15 billion. The, the world is old, very old. That's, that's, that's an understatement. And during this period, we say 6,000 years ago, maybe human beings became awakened in their conscience to realize uh, their purpose and meaning. And through that, God could begin to share with humanity why he created us. One thing I want you to look at as it relates to the providence. Number one, it is clear love cannot be forced on anyone. Can it be? Yeah. Can you force love on somebody? That's a good one. I think it's a sin beyond a crime. <laughs> it's, it's something that cannot happen because it cannot be called love. You understand? It must be reciprocated. Yes. So this is the issue right here. Love cannot be forced on anyone. No matter um, 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 how you really desire for the other person or the persons in your life to recognize love, you can't beat it into anybody's head. It just doesn't happen. I think this can be God's dilemma. Right? You really have something great in you and you want to give it to somebody. You want to offer it. Say, here, take this great stuff. But somehow, we, the objects, don't recognize the preciousness. Objects don't recognize. We don't recognize God's love. And the power that comes with it, the beauty that comes with it, the, the, the thought that God has given into it. And so God is in a dilemma. He can't force his love on you. I and my wife, Mrs. Bio, Adrian, as couples, I cannot force. There's just no way. She cannot force her love on me. I cannot force my love on her. Same with the pastor to the, to the congregation. The pastor cannot force. Sometimes it may seem like the subject is so, how can we say, um, 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 forceful in their desire to want the object partners to receive. Sometimes it may come off that way. You know, you see how some preachers, you know, we preach hard and like, bang the table, you hear father when it's when it's really it's like this thing is in him, he knows it is good for you, he, he knows it is very, you need it and so it is this anguish that the messiahs and good people anguish under that God also anguishes under because he, God cannot force I can't force my to love me I cannot I can wish it desire it reciprocate and show and give it back. So God's dilemma is this. It can't be forced. Love cannot be forced on nobody. And yet God does not stop giving. Yet God does not stop trying to make sure we get it. I get it. Not God is not satisfied with Tad getting it 51%. I think that's a passing grade in some 
schools. No, in some schools they're passing away because you elect your president with this. Ah, it's a passing grade. You tell the world this man is qualified, this woman is qualified, as long as one percent vote over. So this 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 unfortunate um, 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 place that God is, God wants to give us not 99%. That's not even a passing grade in the sight of God. to give us everything 100%. That is the only acceptable passing grade. You look at the couples, you when you fall in love, or when you say you're in love, you're not satisfied with 99%. No. Nobody is. You want the fullness. You don't want any what do we say? Shadow of doubt. You don't want no doubt. So Father uses words like absolute. Huh? 100%. That's absolute. God wants us to give of ourselves the same way God has been giving of God's self. Absolutely. And in many ways, we can say beyond the principle. Because the principle requires that we die. The principle requires that those who are separated from God die. But because God is so loving, like our parents, the parental heart of a true parent. Yes, we talk hard, we talk strong. If you don't do this, son, but yet we always find that the parent still even when the child makes a mistake, still comes and continues to give guidance. So, in my life and in my small years on earth, serving God since six years old when I remember the call, I've always found out that mothers, they represent that heart of God more than anybody else more than we the men it is we men who are the ones who want to first love on people yes that's what's going on in wars oh you're wrong we're going to force you to submission that's what happened in the early days of christianity oh you heretics no we're going to show you what true love is by force and you kill me how you going to show me love happening now in the Middle East one more oh they are wrong they don't know the God of we're gonna go show them the Muslims claim who is leading all this commotion is it a woman answer me somebody is it women is it women leading ISIS answer it's a man Man, Ben Laden was a woman. Yeah. How many female terrorists have you heard of that lead an organization? Yes, they may coerce them to go block themselves. Man, coerce them to go block themselves. Yes, we abuse them in war. We do all kinds of things. No woman goes out there to force her love on somebody. At least not a, a woman who is really in a, you know trying. But men, so-called righteous men, the Pope, he tried to force his love. Not one Pope, many Popes. Mohammed tried to force his love. Islam. The world is run today by who? Major, of the, which of the majority of the sexes? 